What's up, everybody? Tim here, uh, bringing you another episode of my Lost Classic series. Uh, kind of stuck in the house, quarantined because of coronavirus. Not much to really do outside of working and working out, so why not make videos? Uh, so what I wanted to do today, as you can probably tell, uh, I'm doing another video, yet another video regarding the band Def Leppard. Um, I just recently did an unboxing where I unboxed uh, this new box set, the early year, 79 to 81, great set, check it out. Um, I also did a, uh, a video last summer where I discussed uh, their CD slash vinyl collections, uh, volume one, as well as volume two right here. So the last classic I want to focus on, um, I actually did receive uh, for the first time ever on vinyl uh, last summer when this box set right here was released, the vinyl collection volume two. Uh, it's an album they put out in 1996, it's called Slam. Okay, and I've got this in varying formats. I've got the C or the record here that came in the box set. I also have the deluxe edition. Uh, excuse me, that came out a couple of years ago. I also have the original CD I bought back in 1996 uh, up on that shelf somewhere. Um, so, this, to be honest with you, is one of my favorite Def Leppard albums. So, to give you a little history, uh, again, this was released in 1996. So, by then. You know, musical taste had changed, you know, all the bands that were popular in the 80s were really struggling to gain a foothold, especially in America at the time. Uh, grunge took over around 1992, um, not 1991, like contrary to popular belief, it was actually 1992. Uh, and, you know, Def Leppard held on for a little while. Uh, Generalize was a huge record in 1992. Uh, they followed it up with another platinum record in 1993 called Retroactive. Uh, and then they followed up with their blockbuster greatest hits album, Vault, in 1995. Uh, but again, by 1996, um, you know, any of these, uh, you know, so-called 80s bands trying to put out new music uh, um, really wasn't being well received. It wasn't getting a lot of airplay. Uh, and it's unfortunate because while some of those bands really didn't continue to make good music, or some of those bands tried to follow current trends and, you know, just really lost touch with, you know, their, their original fans and their original audience. Um, you know, some people might say Def Leppard kind of did the same thing, but, um, you know, what they did, I mean, apparently, from what I've read, there was a lot of turmoil in the band, not necessarily with the band members, but just in their personal lives, uh, which, you know, caused them to, you know, be, uh, some of them to be in somewhat of a dark place. Uh, and it's really reflected on this album. This album uh, is very different uh, than Pyromania, Hysteria, and Adrenalize. Uh, this album is very dark, it's got very raw elements, but it's got a lot of different musical elements. Uh, there's some industrial elements to it, maybe maybe, some, maybe you could call something, you know, some of it somewhat alternative sounding. Uh, you've got R&B elements, you do have, you know, a few slow songs, uh, you do have some heavy hard rocking songs, um, and then you even have a tune on here that kind of has a, a bit of a U2 flair. Uh, but all in all, it's one of those records, when I listen to this record, I feel like I went, when I listen to it from start to finish, at the end of it, I feel like I went on a journey. Now, it's not a concept album, like a Pink Floyd of the Wall or something like that, but the album is very cohesive, it has a very clear direction, and even though there's a lot of different musical elements, again, at the end of it, I feel like they took me somewhere. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite Def Leppard albums. Unfortunately, uh, it did not do well when it came out. I think it... I think it uh, peaked at number 16 on the charts and disappeared very quick. Uh, it did go gold, uh, so it did sell at least a half a million copies, but again, by then changing musical taste and, you know, the band really alienating its hardcore fans with a different sound really caused this album to uh, kind of be ignored and, and, and cast to the side. Uh, but it's undeserving. This is a fantastic record. Again, uh, you know, don't sleep on it. Don't look at the name and think you're going to hear a certain thing. You know, if you can listen with an open mind and take the name of, of the band out of the equation and just listen for the music, uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. So, some of the highlights on this album, uh, it starts off uh, with a song called Truth and then it goes into a song called Turn to Dust. Turn to Dust. Uh, both have a very industrial flair. Uh, then followed by the title track Slang, which is kind of poppy, kind of dancey. Uh, it was a pretty big hit over in Europe because that's the kind of thing that was going on at that point. Uh, then you've got, you know, a slow song, All I Want Is Everything. Uh, then you have what was the first single called Work It Out, uh, which was written by guitar player Vivian Campbell. And actually that's the one that has a very U2 sound to it. Um, and then when you get to the other side of the record, uh, you, you really get into the different elements. Uh, Breathe a Sigh has a very, very uh, R&B, rhythm and blues flavor. 
Uh, Deliver Me is a very dark, slow rock song, and then it goes right into Gift of Flesh, which is a real, you know, fast, hard rocker. Um, Blood Runs Cold, you know, another slower song. Not quite as much R&B, but, you know, slower, but very, you know, dramatic, very uh, atmospheric song. Uh, Where Does Love Go When It Dies, in my opinion, one of the best love songs or ballads or whatever you want to call it ever written. Um, I think it should have been released as a single, but that's just me. That's probably why I don't work in, at a record label or an A&R guy, because what I like might not be what everybody else likes. But I think that would have been a fantastic single, very well-written song, very, it's a beautiful song. And then the album ends with Pearl of Euphoria. Uh, very, again, I hate to use the word term atmospheric, but I'm not good with words. You know, very atmospheric, and, you know, it has a very, like, airy sound, you know, and it, fade, it has a long fade uh, that really just kind of signals the end of the journey. Uh, so again, one of my favorite records. I was so happy to finally have this on vinyl when this box set came out. I mean, for nothing else, to have just this vinyl made the entire rest of that box set worth it. Um, so again, like I said, you know, I have it in different formats. I have the vinyl, I have it on digital, I have the original release over here, and then I have this deluxe edition CD, double CD, um, and it's got the original album. Uh, but it's got a second CD with a lot of demo versions and maybe versions of songs with uh, guitar player Phil Collins singing instead of Joe Elliott. Um, it's got some uh, other uh, unused songs, B-sides if you will, uh, like Worlds Collide, Can't Keep Away From The Flame. Um, I know there were some other ones on here too. Uh, Move With Me Slowly, that's the other one. Uh, so again, a lot of different formats for this. I don't think you can buy the record by itself. I think you can only get it with the box set. I could be wrong. Check Amazon, wherever you might be able to find it. Uh, uh, but the deluxe edition is available anywhere. Um, if you can't find it in stores, because I know who, who really carries CDs anymore, uh, it is available on iTunes or Google Play or wherever you get your digital music from. I'm sure it's on Spotify and all those other streaming sources as well. Uh, so check it out. Again, 1996, Def Leppard. The album is called Slang. And I assure you, if you listen to this with an open mind, you won't be disappointed. Uh, I've played this record for people before, and they've always turned to me and asked, who is this? I really like this. And then when I tell them it's Def Leppard, they seem pleasantly surprised. So check it out. Uh, if you like what you hear here, uh, subscribe to my channel below. Tell your friends. Share it on social media uh, so maybe I can get my views up a little bit. And I'll see you next time with another Lost Classic. Peace.